Do you know the dark eyed Himalayan grey langur is one of the least studied species of langur? It is distributed in a varied habitat which includes dry savanna and tropical rainforest. Now recently the scientists have made an effort to study about the diet habits of these species. Do you know what they have found? That is what we are going to see in this video. Just wait to know more. Langurs are an important species as they occupy a key position in the food chain of many forest ecosystems. In India, most langurs come under the genus Semnopithecus. Coming to the Himalayan grey langur, its scientific name is Semnopithecus ajax. This Himalayan grey langur is a long tailed monkey. Know that it is also known as Kashmir grey langur. These species can be easily identified by its large size and the silver dark colored hair in the outer side of both the fore and hind limbs. Remember, they inhibit area between 2200 to 4000 meters above mean sea level in subtropical forest, then tropical moist temperate forest, alpine forest, then coniferous and broad leafed forest. And they are also found in scrublands. In India, earlier their distribution was reported from Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir, but now Himalayan grey langur are confined to the Chamba Valley of the Western Himalayas in Himachal Pradesh. They are also reported to be found in Nepal and Pakistan. Now talking about their food habits, they are basically folivorous. That is, they are basically leaf eaters. But they also feed on a combination of fruits, leaves, stem, bugs, roots and flowers. Sometimes they also observed feeding on insects. The Himalayan grey langur is present in a particular area only during some parts of the year. They change their locality during different seasons depending upon the availability of food and environmental conditions. These langurs come to agricultural fields during the harvesting of crops and move to the deep forest during the other periods of the year. So in the recent past, it had been recorded that the langurs usually raid the crops of local farmers. This is mainly due to the destruction of langurs natural habitat and reduction in the natural food resources of this species in the forest. See, the raiding of crops by langurs causes huge economic losses to farmers. So, a new kind of conflict has developed between the ecology of these animals and local farmers. Now, talking about the threats to Himalayan grey langur, the major threat is habitat loss. That is, the expansion of human population and developmental work leads to habitat loss. Then, the other threats include land degradation, land fragmentation, overgrazing, forest fire, deforestation and etc. Now, talking about conservation status, they are placed in the endangered category under the IUCN Red List of Endangered Species. Recently, a study was conducted on diet composition of two groups of Himalayan grey langur. This particular study was conducted in the area which is in and around the Kala Top Khajiar Wildlife Sanctuary in Himachal Pradesh. That is, one group of langur is inhibiting the Kalata forest at an average altitude of 2396 meters and the other group is based in the Kajiar forest at an average altitude of 2188 meters. The study found that the domains of the two groups were only 208 meters apart but the altitudinal gap made a huge difference on their diet. The Kala Top group satisfied their craving by feeding on flowers, but the Kajir group ate fruits for a change of taste. And the study highlighted that the preference for fruit or flowers is due to the difference in their distribution in terms of elevation and availability of a particular plant part. I hope now you can understand how a single geographical factor could contribute to an adaptation. So to know more concepts like these, you can subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Now, thank you for listening.